What's up everybody? This is Air Crate Harry and today is the next day since I poured these panels. I'm excited, I can't wait, alright? It's cured enough. I'm gonna take these panels off and see what it looks like. This was my Air Crete insulation test. So I'm gonna remove this panel. Okay, so this is the Air Crete for insulation this is one day is not fully cured yet I just removed the panel so take a look at how it came out <clears throat> you can see here the metal stud this is where the wood was holding tight against but as I filled the cavity with aircrete it began to bow out here so that's why the stud disappears behind aircrete here because all of this was pushed out <clears throat> but um, this was a quick test I was doing ideally if I were going to be building a wall using steel studs and aircrete um, I would want to have a gap between the steel stud and the form of at least maybe one inch so that you'd have one inch of insulation of aircrete between the stud on the inside surface and on the outside I would want to do the same thing so you just build out simple I was thinking a simple way to do it is make aircrete uh, spacers so make one inch thick aircrete slabs cut them into spacers put them there put your pan up against that and put your screw through it and then you'll have your gap that you need so when you fill the space in with aircrete you'll fill that one inch gap there and um, you'll have a nice aircrete wall that's up to code for structural using 2 by 4 steel studs so that would be excellent but this right here <clears throat> if you have a house right now or if you have a barn and you need insulation this can work because this will also make your uh, your wall space fireproof and bug proof there's not there's not many bugs that are going to be tunneling through this air creek um, yeah I'm pretty positive because even if a bug did uh, bite or try to tunnel through or even rodents or whatnot it makes such a fine dust that uh, that would affect them. Uh, I don't know if it would kill them, but they wouldn't like it. So uh, definitely some really good stuff. So the aircrete for insulation looks like it would work great. <clears throat> so let's say you got walls right now that have no insulation in them. You could easily well not easily I didn't figure out a pumping system yet but you could pour your air creep behind your make a small hole in the wall say this was your wall here make a small hole to put a hose and pump your air creep in like I mentioned before though <clears throat> your one concern you would have is uh, if there were any hose in the floor or in the wall um, so when you pour your air crete, so it wasn't, so it didn't escape through those hose. <clears throat> That's the main thing you'd have to be concerned about if you want to use that method. But as you can see for yourself here, so if you look at this piece of here, you will notice the air crete is solid because this was a denser mix. This last mix on top was 60 gallon what I would recommend for insulation would be mixing a 94 pound bag in a 100 gallon container and that would work great for insulation made with air creep.